you think to fire ahead. As Harry had grabbed by the fear of being in the same boat with Andrew as George turns 18. Several new controversies linked to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have come up in the much awaited extract of the courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown, released by the Times on Friday night. And according to the book, the Duke of Sussex was determined to make an impact before Prince George had turned 18, as he had worried that he would become irrelevant after that. And in the forthcoming book by the royal correspondent, Valentine Lowe, that claims that Prince Harry was frustrated that his advisors were holding him back. And when he wanted to get involved in the same areas as his brother, the Prince of Wales. And prior to the birth of Prince William and Kate Middleton's oldest son, Harry was behind his brother in the royal line of succession. And now that George, at nine, Prince Charlotte at seven, and Prince George at four, are ahead of him. Given their proximity to the throne, when the Wales children grow up, they'll be expected to carry out a vast proportion of royal duties. As the Duke of Sussex had believed that he had only a limited time to make a difference until his nephew, who is now second in line to the throne, became older. As Harry's desire to cement his legacy in the same areas as Prince William could lead to tensions, as Lowe writes, claiming that some of his advisors had spent much of their time talking him down because it would not fit into the bigger picture of what the three of them, William, Kate and Harry, were trying to achieve. The source had told Loam, until George turns 18, was the way he was thinking about. Then I will be also ran, as he was genuinely thinking of it as, I have this platform now for a limited amount of time, and I want to move forward and move forward fast. As the source had went on to claim that Prince's royal staff had tried to assure him that he was not like this uncle Prince Andrew, insisting that he could still have an impact in his 40s and 50s, as Harry had reportedly failed to see that. In addition, the new book, which is said to be published on the 6th of October, also details interactions between the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex and palace staff during their time as working royals. As the book had said that the Duchess of Sussex was once extremely rude while criticizing a plan that was drawn up by the young female employee in front of the colleagues. As William had later tried to console the staff that she was doing a good job. As the book has also mentioned that the couple had bullied Samantha Cohen, the Queen's former assistant private secretary, who had joined them as their interim private secretary after they got married. As the book quotes, a source saying that nothing she did was ever good enough for the couple. As the Duchess's lawyer had denied in 2021 that Miss Cohen has been bullied, saying that the couple were always grateful for the support and dedication. As they have also long described such allegations as massively inaccurate, and that the Duchess has absolutely denied bullying anyone. And in June, Buckingham Palace had effectively buried a report into allegations of bullying by the Duchess of Sussex. As the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex have remained largely distant from the senior members of the firm since they had stepped back from the royal duties back in 2020. But with the published Random House set to publish a memoir with an intimate account of Harry's life, which is co written by him, it remains to be seen what the fallout would be, as Prince George, at the age of nine, is now second in line to become the next British monarch, whereas Harry, despite having a new life in California, is still fifth in line to succeed his father, King Charles III.